We also need Ukraine to make changes to fix the broken immigration system here. We also need Congress to make the changes to fix the broken immigration system here at home. Well, that was America's 81-year-old President Joe Biden confusing Congress for Ukraine while speaking about fixing the immigration system that is broken under his leadership. Joe Biden is the oldest president in America's history, and as he gears up to run again in 2024, the concerns around his age, his energy and mental focus continue to rise. He's been criticised as news media evader, as he doesn't front up to the cameras nearly as often as his predecessor. But when he does, well, it's not always smooth sailing. Here's the president having a laugh as he tries to communicate with reporters that he'll be taking two questions. Thank you. Look, uh, we're going to alternate asking questions. We're going to ask a total of each ask two questions. And I will ask the first question. Uh, I will ask. I will recognize the first question asker. <laughs> I'll ask a question to all. Too. But um, uh, Danny Kemp. And here is Joe Biden getting a bit lost as he reads his pre-written speech. The United States and Congress must, as I asked last week in this it's stunning that we've gotten to this point. You know, we need to fully appreciate, fully appreciate how it's wrong, how this is being viewed around the world. Now, this next clip we're about to show you is hard to dismiss as the president declares it's been 65 years since the October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas. But we know this year's Hanukkah is different. It's been 65 years since the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. 65 years. And here is the president earlier this year speaking about the government's commitment to infrastructure. Over a billion, 300 million, trillion, 300 million dollars. And here he is talking about the benefits of catching a train. And all the studies show, by the way, you get from, people get from point A to point B faster on a train than their car. They take the train. They take the train. Joe Biden may be the oldest president in America's history, but he's determined to show that he knows the country's biggest pop stars. Unfortunately, though, during this speech, he managed to confuse Beyonce, Taylor Swift and Britney Spears all in the same sentence. Now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Rip Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. During Biden's presidency, he's also taken up the opportunity to prove to America that he's fit and healthy. Just look at these occasions that he shows us he can jog. <laughs> Your Excellencies, the President of the United States. Is this on? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, it's not always that easy for Joe Biden. He has been known to take a couple of falls. Here's another look back at some of Biden's finest moments. 
and and Joan Shingang, I'm going to pass for Shanga. Co- Fifty thousand, one hundred fifty-nine thousand billion dollars led. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him. Uh, foot, foot. The idea that um, Los Angeles and uh, and uh, um, uh, um, what am I doing here? For two reasons: one, to We haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is, uh, um, let me say it another way. Unfortunately, there are more and more of these moments as he's visibly confused. Here is Joe Biden at the start of the year speaking about the long conversation he had with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. The United States and Europe are fully united. This morning, I had a long conversation with uh, our NATO allies, German Chancellor Schultz, French President Macron, Prime Minister Sunuk, and the Italian Prime Minister uh, Maloney. And let's not forget about the time Joe Biden said poor kids are just as smart as white kids. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. Sky News contributor Sophie Ellsworth says she's now at the point she almost can't watch Joe Biden anymore. Now let's go to President Joe Biden, who's had yet another incoherent press conference. This one was so bad that his handlers moved in to uh, cut the question and answer session short. Speaking in Hanoi, the president, uh, well, he was confused. Look, nobody likes having celebrated international meetings if you don't know what you want at the meeting, if you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Look, he wants a lie down, and I think we're all on board with that. I think he needs a lie down. But when he is speaking in a full sentences, uh, he says dumb stuff like this. And the only existential threat humanity faces even more frightening than a, than a nuclear war, is global warming going above 1.5 degrees in the next 20, 10 years. And we're in be real trouble. There's no way back from that. What do you think about that, that we've got to be far more worried about global warming being the end of the world than nuclear war? Rita, this whole performance by Joe Biden, I will say, is an utter embarrassment to America. I actually am at the point now where I almost can't watch this anymore. It's just so demoralising. Don't say that because I've got a Biden extravaganza coming up later. Yes, we want the viewers to tune into the Biden extravaganza. You need to watch that. Absolutely do. But Rita, I just want to get that microphone. Surely someone should just get that microphone and save him from these embarrassing situations where he makes no sense. He speaks in riddles. Uh, How on earth is this man running the country? Well, uh, yeah, as someone said, you know, is he running the country or is the person who controls his teleprompter running the country? The Australian's Washington correspondent Adam Crichton says Joe Biden is increasingly embarrassing. As a matter of fact, as you walk into my office in the in the Oval Office in the United States Capitol, guess what? You know who founded and designed and built the White House? An Irishman. An Irish? No, not not a joke. Not a joke. Yeah, they're laughing at you, not with you, Mr. President. This- Indeed. It's, I mean, this, this obsession with Ireland is, is just embarrassing. Uh, and, and he's increasingly embarrassing, let's be frank, uh, laughed at uh, constantly. Uh, and I would say there's the, the, the chance of him not running or, or at least not getting the nomination must be increasing, given the, the pretty steady and increasingly rapid uh, decline, I would say, of his, 
of his abilities. Yeah.